Welcome to TradeMap. Today we'll examine the basic characteristics of this tool and how you can use it to do some preliminary export market screening by analyzing the size, dynamism and openness of markets. You can also use it to see who competes with whom in markets for different products and what have been the trends in recent years. TradeMap contains trade statistics and market performance indicators for last year, as well as time series data since 2001. To enter the tool, you can start from the web page www.trademap.org. After having logged in, you will be redirected to the Home and Search page, which is the starting point of all your searches in TradeMap so it's important to become familiar with all the options it provides. First, you need to decide whether you wish to examine imports or exports. Select one trade flow direction by clicking on the word exports or imports. In this case, we'll select imports, since we want to look at the size of the global market for one specific product. Next, you need to select a product or product group. To select the product you are interested in researching, you have several options. You can type the HS code of the product if you know it, such as, for instance, 09011114 for coffee, excluding roasted and decaffeinated. You can also type the first letters of the product's name and identify the HS code that is the closest match. For example, type COFF when searching for coffee. In this case, you can see that every letter that was typed reduced the number of options available to select. Also, you can scroll down within the combo box to search for the product code. But that will only work if the product code you seek is among the first 30 codes of the harmonized system. To ensure TradeMap loads quickly, we have limited to 30 the number of products, groups, countries or regions displayed in any combo box. This does not, however, mean the database is not complete. If you can't find the product code based on the keyword or the code, and it's not included in the first 30 codes, you should use the Advanced Search option. This option allows you to search within the entire database for keywords, even beyond the HS6 level. There are some products, such as cherry tomatoes, for example, which do not have a specific code up to the HS6 level, as can be seen when typing cherry tomatoes in the Advanced Search field with the button at two, four, six digit levels activated and then clicking on search. You see that there are no perfect matches at this level. So when you want to search for this kind of product, you should opt to search at national tariff line. The result shows a series of codes and descriptions derived from the different national tariff lines. Note that only those from the US, Canada and Switzerland contain a specific code for cherry tomatoes. The fact that these countries have national tariff line codes that fall below the 070200 HS6 code means that cherry tomatoes are generally found under that heading, even if not specifically broken down for other countries. Another aspect to consider when analysing a product is that the HS codes are revised every five years. Therefore, it is important for you to know your HS code well and be extra careful when your product went through revision. We will explain in a separate video how to know if your code has been revised. Now let's go back to the Home and Search page to look for the product we shall use for this example. Coffee, excluding roasted and decaffeinated. Let's choose Imports and type the word Coffee. Since selecting the right code is critical to identifying the correct information, it is very important to spend some time reading through the different possible product codes. On the screen, you see that there are different types of code that refer to coffee, those that start with 09, others beginning with 12 or 21, and finally, some that start with 6 for 9 and 85. 
Once having selected the right code, in this case the six-digit code 090111, coffee, excluding roasted and decaffeinated, we can move to the country field. As we don't want to have data for one specific country, but rather wish to analyse the global demand for the chosen product, we just leave the field Country Region empty and click on the Trade Indicators button to get a table which includes all countries.